<laughs> Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Easy McTrigger, and welcome back to Benny Me. This will be the last episode where we just look at the archives. Starting things off, we have the original Pink Machine. Before a major visual upgrade, this version may be used one in the game. One of the machine's iconic fan love design was translated into the final version. It's easy to tell, like you know, the, you know, the spout where the ink comes out. Concept Bendy. This is the first version of Bendy ever modeled. Here of his concepts, Bendy was much long and cuter. The face that split open to reveal a terrifying mouth. <laughs> you can imagine what the game would have been like if this if this version of concept existed in the game. <laughs> Alpha Bendy. This is the game, original game used design of Ink Bendy from the earliest version of Chapter 1. He's joking off referred to as Bart Poop with a smile among the development team. You can see where they're coming from. Beta Bendy. This was Ink Bendy form into the race of chapter 4. At the time the game received a major visual upgrade in the title, the character got a new model as well. I mean, it looks kind of similar to the, the, the official final model, except for that the left hand, as, as you can see. The, the glove is there, but there is an additional pinky sting out, so it's winning the whole four finger cartoon character effect. In my opinion, that is. Ink Bendy, as we know him today. Although similar to Beta Bendy, Bendy, this ver upgraded version was remodeled, hence with the higher polygon count and given the ink effects, as well as the left hand actually just being a gloved hand, and that's it. East Bendy, Ink Bendy's horrific final form in Chapter 5 pulled away the cartoon facade and revealed the demon within. Complete with an actual uh, set of teeth, as well as uh, his four fingered massive hands having hold of them, resembling the gloves in some way. Beta Searcher. Early to in development, with just a few weeks to create Chapter 2, Beta Searchers were designed in record time before being fully detooled later on. They were the first fighting enemies to capture in the game. Yeah. Final Searcher. The Final Searchers were far more robust in appearance. They were smoother with better ink effects and a more human appearance. Beta Sammy. With his first appearance in Chapter 2, fan favorite Sammy Lawrence became a terrifying and terrifyingly entertaining character. When his slim build was deemed not threatening enough, he was redesigned really to give him better scale to rig for more advanced animation. Huh. Final Sammy! Sammy Lawrence's final form came complete with a bulked up stature and a more powerful mix. A mad songwriter may finally get noticed now, despite the fans. Yes, some fans would say he is fan service in some way because he has that, those, those muscles. You also can see uh, concept portraits up on the walls of characters. You can see the concept of Ink Bendy. Concept of beast bending, concept of that giant hand we find in the in the ink river in chapter five. That's concept of Sammy, concept of of, of the butch gang, pipers, strikers, and fishers. Here, some aren't really changed from their final versions, except that striker in the final game was given an, an extra limb and didn't really have that thing at the bottom. Anyway, the, the hole where the stump should be. I guess that's a concept of the lost one. This was easy casting glass for some reason, unlike the others, and doesn't have any description. There's the, the uh, Al, Al, Alice Angel, both the evil Alice Angel and Alice and Angel. They have no they have no descriptions, neither does Tom for some reason. And also, as you can see, in concept, the evil Alice was originally going to have an apron, but that didn't carry over to the final version. Beta Boris. Papa was the original name of the character, but she became Boris the Wolf. This early version was released in, with Chapter 1. This could be refined into the Boris we know today with the release of Chapter 2. Yeah, also a concept of the, of the ink machine. Whatever that thing is, I don't understand what that exactly is. It's just a sort of hut or something. I don't really get it. That, that's Peggy's throne from, from Chapter 5. Boris the Wolf. Boris the Wolf, a friend to the end, was designed using various references from cartoons of the 1920s. A blend of West Coast and East Coast animation styles. In the style of the support of Warren, Wolf won over the hearts of many. Although at times he was a headache for the development team due to his AI taking a mind of its own during production. Hmm. And Brute Boris. Alice Angel's monstrosity, Brute Boris, was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter 4. His design was roughly based on Frankenstein's monster with a more unfinished appearance. Alice took parts from him from within him through things that his body's rapidly rejecting. Oh, and also here, 
Henry Stein. There is no model, he's our character. Here. Once an equal business partner of Joey Drew, Henry Stein was a talented animator and character designer until leaving the company around 1930. His place in Joey Drew Studios history is somewhat undocumented, but he is often known to be what the true creator behind many of the studio's most memorable characters. Huh. Also see here Bert, Bertram's head, and the butcher gang. The Piper, Fisher, and Striker make up the dreaded butcher gang. Interestingly, the ink corrupted versions of the characters were designed first in the reverse engineers back into more friend family friendly cartoon forms. Charlie, who is Piper, Barley, who is Fisher, and Edgar, who is Striker. That's all this video really was, we just uh, did the archives, so I could just, once and for all, just wrap up uh, the DVD machine. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, it's on the so, see. So, that does it for our Ben Machine, so thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Farewell.